Hi, I'm Mrs Colosi, Head of Art at CLV, and in this short presentation, I'll try to give you an insight and overview of GCSE photography, and explain what the course has to offer, and how choosing photography might be of use to you in the future. The specification that we offer is AQA Art and Design, with photography as the endorsement, and is a full two-year course. In GCSE Photography, you'll explore different genres of photography, such as portrait, landscape and still life, as well as different camera techniques. So if you're thinking of choosing GCSE Photography, one of the most important things is that you enjoy taking photographs, and lots of them. You don't need your own expensive camera for the course, as we have cameras for use in school, but you will need to take photos out of lessons and you can use your phone to do this if you like. You should also be able to work independently and enjoy editing photos on a computer or on an app. This is a basic overview of the course and 60% is coursework based and is completed in lessons. And for this part of the course, we do lots of mini photography projects followed by a big major project in year 11. And the other 40% is a practical photography exam and you'll see some examples of this in later slides. So the first year of the course in year 10 is all about building up skills in photography and digital image manipulation. And we have a specialist photography darkroom for traditional photography with 15 enlargers and also a photo studio with lighting and different backdrops. We have a range of resources to support photo shoots and different types of cameras for use in lessons, ranging from pinhole cameras right through to DSLRs. And these examples here are images from a year 10 mini skills project exploring the theme of typology. And these are from a project exploring the theme of hands, looking at composition and different lighting techniques. And we also explore the idea of narrative and look at photographs which have a meaning or which tell a story. And these images are by students which show sequences of images. Learning to edit your photographs is also an important part of the course and you learn how to use a range of different programs such as uh, Photoshop and Pixlr Editor to do this. And altering your photographs physically is also something that we explore and this could involve transferring your photographs onto fabric, sewing into your images, uh, or also creating 3D sculptures from your photographs. This is an example of work from a coursework project inspired by the theme of light and dark. And this shows a small selection of Google Slides containing research, uh, photo shoots, edits, and also a final piece. And these images were all created by a student in response to the theme of plastics and pollution and their impact on our environment. And this project was all inspired by the theme of colour. So there isn't a written exam in photography, uh, but instead you will do a 12 week practical photography project completed on Google Slides which is assessed by your teachers and then you have 10 hours at the end to edit your photographs and create final pieces and this is usually completed over two days. And these slides show uh, an exam project based on the theme of texture and you can see that the final pieces for this were actually transferred onto a large canvas and then sewn into. And the student also created 3D forms from the photographs which were also stuck onto the canvas. And if you enjoy taking photographs of buildings or architecture, then this project is a great example to look at as it was inspired by the theme of spaces. You can also create moving images and make your own GIFs or films or animations as part of GCSE photography. And this project here has some really brilliant examples in response to the theme of moments in time. So GCSE Photography has four assessment objectives, which are all worth the same amount of marks. And you're marked on your research, the quality of your photographs, how well you experiment with different techniques and media, and also your ideas and final pieces. 
and you will also be required to complete some writing photography and these are some examples. You'll annotate your contact sheets, you might describe and explain your digital edits and complete research on the work of other photographers. So taking photographs out of school is also an important part of the course and in addition to taking photos in your own time after school or at weekends we also offer trips and visits for photo shoots such as these which are when we went to Annick Gardens and Almouth Beach. So in many career fields those who are most successful can think quite creatively and innovatively and these are skills that employers really value. When you study GCSE photography you learn to work both independently and collaboratively and learn really effective time management. And careers in the creative industries are most definitely on the rise and studying the arts can also help you with personal well-being and improve health and happiness. And by having the ability to self-express, you can build confidence as well as a sense of individual identity. And recent research has also shown that arts jobs are less likely than many other career fields to be automated or taken over by a robot in the next 20 years. So I hope that you've enjoyed this insight into our GCSE photography course. And if you'd like to find out more, take a look at the resources on the options site or Gmail us, and we'll try to answer some of your questions. You can also take a look at our CLV Art Department website and our social media accounts on Twitter and Instagram to see more examples of the brilliant work from our students.